Yo, what's up my fellow creatives? I wanted to create a quick video to show you something amazing that just happened with Photoshop in like the last couple weeks that you guys may not know about. If you haven't already, you need to go up to your Photoshop Creative Cloud. You can see here, Photoshop Beta. There is now a Photoshop Beta, which I want you to download and check out. When you do that, you're gonna open up an image like this, and you're gonna see this little select subject thing here, okay? When you hit select subject, you have your, your your selection tool, you have your different lasso tools, things, right? But we're gonna go ahead and hit select subject. We're gonna highlight this guy right here. Whoa, it just automatically selected my daughter and I. I'm gonna deselect this, but I'm gonna do something right here, here, show you something. So we're gonna go ahead and click, oops, let me grab my tool here. We're gonna go ahead and grab this. I'm gonna get rid of this little pumpkin. But I'm not just gonna get rid of it. I'm gonna show you something else. So you're gonna hit generative fill. You hit agree, and you can type in here, put a tall glass of tea here. You're going to hit generate. Watch this. Now, sometimes the server is going to be too busy. This has happened to me once or twice because this is new. They've now incorporated it. Whoa. And then you're going to see you're going to have different variations of different things. So you can replace that. So I can go back again. We can do something else. What if I just want to remove it completely? So I'm going to hit right click, fill, content aware fill. Just do the typical thing, right? It's not perfect, but it's better than nothing. I can fix this wall here, but let's go back and try something else here. So I want to go ahead and hit generative fill. And I want to put in here tall glass of iced tea. And what I've noticed too, is I did it really close around here. If you go a little wider, it actually does a little bit better of a job. So we'll do that here one more time. I'll show you just how you can do that. <clears throat> That was an iced tea. I don't know why it did that. It did a tall glass of, or it did a bunch of fruit. So let's try something else. So let's go back. Okay. We're going to deselect this. We're going to just going to select more of an area. Okay. I'm going to put in here generative fill, tall glass of iced tea. Generate. see what happens here. This is pretty fun. If you haven't used this tool yet, you haven't tried Adobe Photoshop beta, I would definitely check it out. The AI that they've incorporated into it is still buggy. It's still new, but you can get a lot of value out of this. Look at this. Like it wasn't even there. A tall glass of iced tea and I can even do different ones if I wanted to. Ooh, look at that one. Ooh, look at that one. I'd probably want to do something like that. Now, if you don't know already, you can take things like this. Whoops. Let me try that again. You can take things like this, like if I didn't want to have my phone here, I can just outline my phone. I can just say, generate fill. I could probably just say, remove phone. Generate. As you can see, pretty amazing what AI has the potential to do. I've been talking a lot about AI, but I wanted to talk about it with Adobe. I've been waiting for the Firefly uh, update, and now they put it directly into Photoshop. So if you're not using this, I would definitely recommend, look at that. Wow, no phone. I don't know what that is in replace of it, but it's really cool and I can even swap it out for other stuff. Look at that. It actually matches some of the stuff around me. How neat is that? So this is a really new tool. You should be checking this out, Adobe Photoshop Beta. If you're not already, I mean, there's so many things you can do here. I can remove this out of the background. I can take this water machine out. I mean, there's so many things. You could try it with different images. You know, I tried this earlier with my team was I could take this out of my shirt and put a, whoops, let me grab a little bit more. There we go. And just hit generative fill, alien, uh, funny alien on the front of my shirt. Hit generate. I'll just give it a second here. Got to give it some space to work with. Notice how I didn't crop it in too close. It'll make it hard for it to fill that space with an alien. So I'm taking the whole front of it here. It didn't do it. 
Oh, it's showing it here. You can see it over here on the variations, but for some reason it's not showing it. I wonder why that is. You know what it is. I know exactly what it is. So you gotta make sure, this is really important, you gotta make sure you select the right layer. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit generative fill again. Funny alien on the front of my shirt. Oops. Oh, come on, really? Okay. Funny alien on the front of my shirt. Now remember with prompting, the more specific you get, the better the outcome of your image is gonna be. So something to think about if you wanna make it really specific, funny green alien with purple eyes, we can get really, really specific on this stuff. Look at that, so that's one. That's another one, pretty cool. Look at that, that's the one I would go with. Pretty neat, so the potential is really unlimited with the stuff. I've seen people do taking streaks out of the ground or cracks out of concrete, making the photos look really, really neat. I could probably even do some fun stuff like give me a perfect smile because my smile is not the best. So give me a perfect smile. Oh, I'm not selected on the right layer. Again, I gotta go back. I may cancel on that. I gotta select the right layer, and there we go. Give me a perfect smile. Prompting is so important. If you don't get specific with your prompting, you're not gonna be able to actually get a good outcome. There we go. It's not really perfect. Let's see here. Oh, need some help. I mean, it gave me some straighter teeth. That's better. Hey, version three was pretty good. So you can see here, I can pull this out of the way. Uh, reset bar position. <clears throat> I could probably just move this out of the way. I don't know why it's putting it right here. Oh, here we go. There we go, you just move that and grab it out of the way. So you can kind of see here what I would look like with perfect teeth. Not a big deal, but overall, hope you guys enjoyed this. This is something that I'm gonna be talking more about with AI and using it in your designs to really take images out, correct images, and create images you never thought were even possible. So if you have any questions, you have any feedback, or if there's something else you'd like me to like to know about this AI stuff uh, and how to get it, drop a comment down below, introduce yourself, and I look forward to seeing you guys on the next video. I'm Adrian Boysell, and as always, keep looking up.